Hello YouTube and my fellow Whovians. Today we are going to make fish fingers and custard. My very first exposure to Doctor Who was back in the 90s. They were showing Tom Baker reruns. And I loved the show, but then PBS stopped showing it. And I had no idea that they were still making Doctor Who. Who would have thought that it would last 50 years? Then a friend of mine who is also a Whovian said, I'm looking forward to the new season of Doctor Who. And I couldn't believe they were still making it. That was the time Matt Smith had just taken over as the Doctor. So to me, Matt Smith is my Doctor. His sense of humor and the writing during his tenure at the show kind of fits my sense of humor. So this is my tribute to him and Doctor Who in general. Let's go ahead and get these started. The ingredients that we're going to need to make our fish fingers is flour, baking powder, salt, powdered sugar, egg, butter, vanilla, and graham crackers. Let's go ahead and whip them up. The first thing we're going to do is in a small bowl, we're going to add one and one third cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt. We're going to put that in a separate bowl and set it aside for now. And now we're going to go ahead and cream some butter, so I'm going to set up my stand mixer. In my mixing bowl, I have a half a cup of butter, and we're going to cream that until it's light and fluffy, probably about five minutes. All right, so our butter is now kind of light and fluffy. We're going to add to this a half a cup plus two tablespoons of powdered sugar, and we're just going to add that slowly into the mix. So I beat the sugar in until, again, the batter is kind of light and fluffy. To this, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla and one egg. And mix that until it's well combined. Our butter, sugar, eggs, and vanilla is really well combined. Now we're going to add about half of the flour, baking powder, and salt mixture to it. And we're going to combine that with it. And then we'll add the other half. Once your flour mixture is well combined into the dough, this is what it's going to look like. And now we're just going to cover up our dough with some plastic wrap. And we're going to put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And we'll be right back. We're actually going to make the breading for our fish fingers while this is in the fridge. I've set up my food processor. That's what I'm going to use. You can also use a blender or we can, you can even do this by hand. But I'm going to put in five sheets of graham crackers and I'm going to pulverize this until it's about the consistency of sand, a fine sand. Like I said, you could do this with a blender. You could put the crackers between two pieces of parchment paper and use a rolling pen. You just want to get it to a fine consistency. I pulverized my graham crackers until, as you can see, they're kind of this fine sandy texture. Now I'm going to put that in a separate bowl. This is going to be the start of our breading. And to this, I'm going to stir in one tablespoon of granulated sugar. Now to this, I'm going to add two tablespoons of melted butter. And stir that up really well. This is what we're actually going to dip our fish fingers in to make the breading. Now that our dough is chilled, we're going to take about a tablespoon or half a tablespoon of our dough and we're just going to form it into fish fingers about three inches long and you want to make sure you get the rounded ends something along that size. 
and then we're going to roll it in our graham cracker mixture and then place them on our baking sheet that I've lined with parchment paper and we're going to bake them for 20 to 25 minutes at 325 degrees. I'll go ahead and finish up the rest of them and we'll pop them in the oven. Our fish figures just came out of the oven. As you can see they puffed up just a little bit. Now we're just going to let these cool completely and we'll be ready to put our dish together. I've plated up our fish fingers and custard. I'm using a simple recipe that I found on food.com for the custard but you could also use a vanilla pudding. It would look the same and taste as good. I'm serving the custard in these Tardis blue chocolate cups that we made in the previous video. The link to that is in the description. I found the recipe for the fish fingers on bakingthem.com. A link to their websites in the description as well. I'd love to see in your comments who was your favorite Doctor Who. As I've said, mine's kind of Matt Smith. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please join our channel and we hope to see you back real soon.